Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and this is gonna be the first vlog type of video here on this channel. And so here's a lowdown if you haven't seen my other channel. I don't use a script for these videos. I just go with them, go with them on the fly. And a lot of times I don't edit them, so there might be a lot of mix-ups, mess-ups, whatever. I might edit these a little bit, but we'll see. And so in this video, I want to talk about this whole big shenanigan about old v old media, old media versus new media. Something like television, magazines, newspapers versus YouTube. And recently, this guy Ryan Holiday has released an article saying pretty much that YouTube is junk. That there's no production value on YouTube. That people like Jenna Marbles. It's a shame that they're having success with twenty dollars worth of production value. They're making all this money. It's just ridiculous. We're terrible people. YouTubers are the scum of the earth. He didn't say that, but he did say that YouTubers um, have no production value. A lot of YouTube, there's no production value, and like that to me is extremely insulting because listen, I spent more than twenty bucks. I can rattle off to you right now how much I've spent. Um, so let's say 120 bucks on my lights. Um, the Rode video mic that I'm using right now because the Blue Spark's acting up on me. Um, I'm having weird time sync issues within Premiere and stuff like that. Uh, the Rode video mic costs probably 130 bucks. And so we're up to 250. Um, this tripod probably costs 30 bucks. Um, 260. This whole computer costs a thousand dollars, and so we're up to 1600 or 1200. This camera with the different lenses, we're talking a thousand bucks with all the accessories that I've bought. Um, the software, I'm paying fifty dollars a month for Adobe software. Um, all my stuff, my iPad 2, my Nexus 7, Galaxy S3, my iPhone 4, um, tripods, iPods, all, all kind, all this stuff I've spent money on. Let me tell you, I've spent more than 20 bucks in production. Okay, so don't say that everybody is only having $20 production value. Yes, I know some people just record videos of their cats with their cell phone and upload it to YouTube. That's perfectly fine though. Those people are boasting that they have the best quality and they're not saying, hey, look, we have the best videos on YouTube. If it gets viral, so what? Old media is jealous that new media knows what they're doing. And not even new media knows what they're doing. They get so mad. I think old media and television and newspapers and this stuff, they get so mad whenever a video of a panda sneezing at a zoo goes viral. They say, how does that happen? They can't wrap their minds around it. It's rocket science. We have to do 20,000 calculations to see how we can reproduce this on television. Well, you can't, you just can't because we can't sit here and upload videos to television. If we did, that'd be crazy, but we can't, okay? Nobody planned Charlie Bit My Finger to be a multi-million hour, I don't even know how many views that it has video. Nobody predicted Gangnam Style was going to go crazy in that we'd have some guy named Sai singing songs in Korean or whatever he's singing them in on English radio stations. Nobody predicted that. And I think it drives old media insane. I think it just, it just makes them go crazy because they can't figure it out. Okay. And so I don't think old media will ever understand new media, television, radio, newspaper, news reporters, whatever you want to call old media. We'll never understand things like YouTube. They try to mimic it. They're not. Um, even Google has had this trouble lately. They're trying to bring all these people in for comedy week. We need these stars for comedy week. We need to bring these people who are established on television onto YouTube. Nobody cares about that. Nobody wants to see them because they are, people are used to seeing them act as somebody else on television. They're not used to seeing them act as themselves because whenever you're on television, nine chances out of 10 is you're acting as somebody else. You're not acting as yourself. On YouTube, I'm acting like myself. I'm not acting like an actor. I'm not trying to be somebody else. I've said this in a prior video. It's easier for a YouTuber to move into television than it is somebody from television to move onto YouTube. YouTube has funded these channels. And they've given hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars to these channels and trying to build them up and they go nowhere because people aren't interested. People don't care. People like to see people rise from the ground up on YouTube. That's what people like. That's what YouTube is about. And that's why people will have success on YouTube. Um, Ray William Johnson, he has super success. Jenna Marbles, super success. Now, I'm not saying that I approve of all these people where I watch all their videos or I like them. In fact, I dislike a majority of those, those videos, but you cannot deny their success. You cannot deny it. You cannot take it away from them. They have had success. And I just think the article Ryan wrote was extremely insulting to not only YouTubers, but to YouTube to say that there's no production value. It's just, it's am amateur hour. Okay, obviously you haven't seen the videos I've been watching. Um, 
some of these tech reviewers, MKBHD, Duncan33303, Austin's channel, Duncan33303, is one of the highest quality produced channels that I've ever watched. His quality is crazy. It's crazy. So is MKBHD. Quality is crazy. Good stuff. Great sound quality. Great microphones. Great camera quality. You can't say that that stuff's not good. And um, there's other stuff. People have uploaded short films. Um, Final Cut Pro King. I haven't watched his videos in a while, but I've watched some of them. That, that was wow. Those, uh, those videos are good quality videos. Um, the guys that blow stuff up, what are they called? The slow, the slow mo brothers. They have spent more than twenty dollars on those slow motion cameras, the high speed cameras. They're more than twenty dollars. I will tell you, those guys have spent a lot of money putting those channels together, and a lot of money and a lot of time is invested into videos. Even let's players. I know I watch Doc M 77s Minecraft videos. Sometimes he's recording for five hours in a day to make a thirty minute video. Okay, they don't get it. And even people who watch YouTube sometimes don't get it. People are saying, you know, YouTube video, you just throw it up in 20 minutes, you can record a video and you're done. You do not take an account to voiceovers. If you have to do voiceover, editing, overlays, commentary, if you're putting post commentary, um, rendering time, which is time, responding to comments, interacting with the audience, because if you don't interact with the audience, you're gonna go in nowhere. All this stuff, people don't take that into account. And so, this has just been my rant, I guess, of this whole old media versus new media. I don't want to like say, I'm not trying to make this everybody go out and attack Ryan because, you know, I don't want to like demoralize him as a person, even though I think he said some rather rude things. Um, but his article is just the voice um, of many people in old media who have this opinion. And um, Good Morning America did a spot on Jenna Marbles and they completely blasted her, made her look like an idiot even though she has a master's degree from, I think, Boston University or something like that. They failed to mention that. And they just don't understand us. They don't understand. They don't understand. They look at videos and that have millions of views that are viral. They look at these channels that have amazing success and they say, why can't we reproduce that? Because you can't. It's not something you can just magically reproduce. If YouTube was easy, everyone would be doing it. Everyone. And I'd already be a millionaire subscriber year heir person. If it was easy, it takes time, takes effort. It's hard. Nobody said it was going to be easy. If you produce good quality, the viewers and the subscribers will come. This isn't a YouTube tips video, so I better not get into that. And so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about this whole traditional media, old media versus new media versus YouTube thing. Um, it's been kind of getting more attention recently with the Good Morning America thing with Jenna Marbles and this Ryan Holiday post that he wrote in this article that I read. Um, it really, it really got me irritated, really got me irritated. Um, he was, he's attacking people. Um, I, I'd like to see him make a video and try to compare it with some of them on YouTube that are high quality. Um, YouTube's one of those things where you can't really talk bad about it unless you, you've done it. And so, um, I think that's going to wrap this video up. I don't, don't really have much else to say. Let me know what you thought about this vlog video. This is the kind of stuff that's going to be coming to the channel. Unscripted, mostly unedited. I think I'm going to leave this one unedited. I didn't make too many mistakes. And so I sm spelled a couple words wrong. I don't really spell. You can't spell with voice, but I said a couple words wrong. But yeah, this is kind of the style of these vlog videos here on T-Game and Tech from Wise Man Drummer. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up button. That's awesome. It helps support the channel. Uh, let me know what other topics you'd like to see me cover. Um, I might actually do this to replace the podcast. Um, the podcast still has a purpose, though. It's currently being worked on. I've got to think about the podcast. But I like these type of videos. It gives me a chance to rant. gives you guys a chance to see more of me on camera, act myself, go crazy, do whatever, and fling my arms around like this because it helps accentuate my feelings and what I'm saying to you. And so that's going to wrap up this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions about, like I said, old media versus new media down in the comments below. Keep it civil. Keep it clean. Don't be insulting each other because I don't want to delete and block people because that's just annoying. And I will be answering questions and interacting with you guys down in the comment section below if you have questions or comments. And so make sure you also follow me on all my social links. They're all in the description below, especially Twitter. That's where I do a lot of my, well, tweeting because that's the only place you can tweet. Um, a lot of my talking with people on YouTube and stuff like that. It's Tyler TGNT on Twitter. I'll make sure you follow that. And my other social links are there as well. And so that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.